Well, hi guys, welcome back to Linda's Pantry. And today I am here at the house waiting for uh, the floor installation guys to come back and uh, finish this to section. I got my new hearth pad yesterday. So we've got to put that down right there. Got to be able to punch a hole in it and get the wood stove back in. Oh my gosh. I got to make sure we can get to that pipe too that's in the garage. I'm stepping all over stuff. I'm unboxing. This is my love seat. I got my, we got all the furniture is here. It's um, my bed, my nightstands, my, um, actually all the dining room chairs are here. We got to put them together, but uh, that's the last thing on my list. I'm going to try to get some of this stuff unwrapped so I can um, get this. I didn't vlog yesterday. I drove 150 miles with that U-Haul going all over picking this stuff up. So Whitney and I got it all moved last night. Ray helped load the van. And um, I'm going to tell you, having the U-Haul was a big convenience. It got my vanity. She's got her permanent, her permanent spot is going to be on this wall. But... I got to get these boxes undone today, get some packing undone. I have nothing to wear. I got no boots. My closet is full of boxes. It's going to be a day. So I will bring you back here and there and let you know how things are going. And I wanted to tell you guys, thank you so much for um, supporting the channel and watching the videos and coming along for the progress. I think there's a lot of you that have um, gone through this and you're really giving me inspiration to know that I'm going to get through all this and it's going to, I'm going to look back and go, it wasn't that bad, right? I got to get the plug plates on the walls too. So my new end tables for the bedroom set, oh my gosh, they plug in and they have USB ports and plugs in the back and everything. It's, it's high tech. So this is my garage. Oh gosh, look at ah. And as I'm unpacking, I'm purging some more. I've already got two boxes that are going to um, Goodwill. Uh, old linens and stuff I won't be using. And um, I did find my bedding so I can actually, if we put my bed together, I can actually stay here tonight if I choose. But I don't know that I'm going to choose to do that. So um, I can get to the wood stove pipe. Okay, boy. My big green egg, we got to get her out back too and up on the deck. We still have a lot of work to do, but thankfully my daughter. Oh, and I want to show you, I am organizing my canning jars on the hutch and I've got two more baskets I need to buy for the bottom shelf. So let me turn you around. Okay. So this is what progress I've got, but see those baskets, they stack perfectly. And each one of them, they stack on themselves, not on the jars, but that bottom basket there has 18 pint jars in it. So I need two more for the other side. I've got canning books in here and I, I haven't unpacked all my recipe books and canning books, but that's where they'll go. Um, I've got uh, those baskets up there will house the canning rings and, and lids, extra lids and rings. And this is all, uh, you know, beans and tomato sauce and salsa and uh, it's just um, asparagus and pickled asparagus, succotash, green beans, spinach, soup, you name it. So we're coming along, but uh, anybody want to come help me unpack? <laughs> I'll, I'll be back later. So guys, guess what I'm doing? I'm actually cooking in my kitchen, <laughs> even though it's, it's uh, echoey in here because there's hardly any furniture, but um, I'm peeling carrots. My daughter is starting to feel a little bit under the weather and it's raining and um, I'm gonna make chicken noodle soup. So I've got the chicken on to cook. And let me just tell you, I've had, I've cooked on natural gas for the last 20 years. And I didn't realize, but I believe that propane cooks hotter. I'm just going to tell you, it was, uh, it was boil. Plus the elevation is different. I'm not used to this elevation. So that's probably a lot of it. Um, anyways, it's going to be a new cooking experience for me. Hopefully it's a good one. <laughs> and okay. So I am 
breaking down styrofoam and I just I hate the waste. Um, you know, I guess they put it in the landfill so you can't recycle it. So it's too, it's kind of yucky. But so in my chicken soup, I've got um, celery, some fresh carrots, fresh celery, tons of garlic, a shallot, um, a bundle of bok choy, and I'm going to grab, oh, I've got some Thrive zucchini. I, I wanted to grab some uh, Thrive vegetables to throw in there as well because I don't have a lot of fresh vegetables on hand right yet. And I don't want to, like these kind, go to waste. Uh, they, yeah, and I haven't unpacked all my Thrive. But I do have um, some red bell pepper and it's at the other house. So... Um, if I have a small can of red bell peppers, then I'm going to put red bell peppers in there as well. So anyways, guys, go down below and check the link because Thrive makes your life so convenient and no waste. Now that I'm totally, completely on my own and, um, you know, ha well, I have been for a while, but this is like, this is big. This is my own house, my own house payment, my own everything. I have to be on a strict budget. I need to control my spending and I can't afford to waste things. So, um, anyway, that's how good that is. And look who's having a nap. My girl. Miss Doozer, shots you do. She said, what? She came with me and we both were out on the covered deck and um, watching the rain. Now it's starting to clear a little bit. The sun's poking through, but a good douse we got. Anyways, all right, guys, if you like this kind of stuff, hit that thumbs up button and don't forget, watch some more of my videos because that's what helps me get through this. All right, I love all of you. Bye. <laughs> I'll, oh, well, I'll be back. I gotta I'm show gonna you. I'm gonna recap bed. the day and call it quits for today. But, hi. Okay, so I got my love seat out of the box. I put the, the feet on it and I went and bought these cups with a felt pad so you can, I can move it without, you know, hurting my floor. So there's the love seat. The recliner, part of it's right here. The other part is in the garage. I can't lift it. So Whitney will have to help me with that. So got that box torn down, all the styrofoam in bags out by the curb, uh, three big lawn and trash bags. I was gonna go ahead and stay and put my bed together. I got it all out of the box though. Here we go. So there's the bed, um, the footboards in the middle, the sideboards. Uh, I can do this tomorrow. Um, I've read the instructions. It's pretty simple, but I'm spent. And I'll probably need help with the mattress. The box spring's no problem, but the mattress. I just don't wanna break anything or hurt anything. And then I wanna get my vanity in place and my nightstands. And then I'm just gonna guess that tomorrow might be the day that I spend the night for the first time. I don't know though, I'm not really ready. I still have tons of work in the master closet to do. And so let me take you out and show you the chicken soup. And I did have red bell peppers from Thrive. I had a pantry can. I, ha I have a big number 10 can, but it's packed. I have like three of them, I think. I order them every month. So here, um, let me show you the soup and then I'm getting ready to snatch that up. I'm gonna take it to my daughter's and I put the zucchini this much went in, um, I used about that much out of the jar of the zucchini in the soup and about that much in red bell peppers, but I um, actually put the Thrive uh, zucchini in a half gallon jar. So those all store on my hutch. So let me turn you around. Okay, you. so here is my soup and it's just beautiful. I've got celery and look at those beautiful red bell peppers. They refresh so gorgeous. They're my favorite. Uh, I've got bok choy in there. That's the green. Uh, zucchini. Where's my zucchini? Oh, there's some. Zucchini. And their zucchini keeps a little bit of a bite. Ah, it's so convenient. So economical. I've still got my lemons floating around in there. But I always put lemon 
tons of garlic and ginger when somebody's under the weather. It just helps you get better so much faster. And I need a little bit of uh, pepper. So the broth is delicious. I'll serve this over Amish noodles and I've got some garlic knots already made up. So I'm gonna haul this over to my daughters and we're gonna eat dinner here in a bit. <laughs> so guys, if you like this sort of stuff, keep watching. I'll be back tomorrow. Bye.